My name is Sergio Castillo Jr. I'm number 41 and I play kicker and punter. A uh, story as a kicker, I kicked a little bit in middle school. When I got to high school, I was just in band. I was in the drum line and soccer. I didn't, I didn't play football my freshman year. But I recall one Wednesday, they, uh, we didn't have band practice, so I went to go chill with my soccer buddies. And I just started kicking the football just for the heck of it. You know, they didn't think much of it. The whole year goes by. Right before school ended, my freshman year in high school, my soccer coach, Coach Tomez, he told me, hey, sir, they're looking for a kicker. You should go try out. And I was like, okay, I'll think about it, right? But anyway, I go try out, didn't think much of it. And I recall, it, we're in band camp, and I recall it was August the 8th. And Mr. Adame, my band director, he's like, he calls me through the intercom, because we're a big band, we're a big high school, we're like 6,000 kids. And he's like, Sergio, Coach, uh, coach Villasenor, the head coach of football, wants to talk to you. I'm like, why does he want to talk to me, you know? So I go anyway, and next thing you know, I enter, and I see Coach Garcia, my special teams coach. He's like, Sergio, you're gonna be a coyote, you're gonna be a coyote. And I was like, wow. And you know, playing, in, playing in, I'm from La Jolla High, and you know, you, you average about 10 to 12,000 people a game, you know, at one point, so it was a big thing. And uh, so I started playing my sophomore year in high school. My first kick, I recall, is October 13, 2006, and we're playing against Donna High, and it was a game winner, 26 yards left hash. I didn't know what to do, so all I did, I screamed goal, you know, just like soccer, you know, I just started screaming and yelling. My junior year, which is 11th grade, uh, we're in the f third or fourth round of the playoffs, and I kick a 58 yarder right before the half. And it wasn't until a couple of days later, my football coach told me, hey, you can, you know, there's some, there's some schools looking at you, you know, after that kick, and I was like, okay, well, maybe I can do something with this. So our uh, West Texas A&M University, they offered me uh, a scholarship to go play. I redshirted my first year, I didn't play, and I started for four years. Uh, I just kicked, I just kicked field goals. I never punted, I never kicked off. People are brought into your life for a reason, season or a lifetime. And all this started back in, uh, in March when there was a kicking combine in, in Arizona and Coach McKnight was the first one, I believe, to pitch the idea, hey, let's bring in Surge. So I think that's where it all started. And I uh, tried out with six other guys, which are all great guys, great human beings. Was brought here in training camp and just took it day by day, enjoying the process and enjoying the stage where I'm at, you know, the platform that I've been given. When I first came here in 2015, I was behind Medlock. It's funny because we didn't get along with each other, you know, there's some bad blood, but he went to Winnipeg and it was probably the best thing that happened to me. Now we're like, you know, we're really good buddies. But sitting behind him for nine, 10 weeks, whatever time I was there, I was able to learn, you know, what it takes to be a professional. You know, because everyone says, oh, I want to play pro, but the, the thing is, do you have what it takes to be a professional? The way he carried himself on and off the field, it just, for me, I didn't play last year, but you know what? I don't regret anything because it has led me to where I am right now. Kicking, punting, and, uh, you know, just anything off the field, how to carry myself. But it's been a journey, and uh, I didn't think, you know, I go look back 10 years from now, it's already been 10 years since I kicked my first football. I didn't think I'd be where I am right now, but more than things because I've been able to, you know, get over myself, you know, get over my fears and my doubts, my insecurities, and stepping into what, my, which is my dream, which is to play, and that's the main reason why I want to play. I want to play because, yeah, as it provides, you know, financially for me, and I get to play football, but more than thing, I want to use this platform and tell kids, hey, if you just learn to get over your comfort zone, you know, you can reach anything that you want.